Hello, hello, hello everyone. Flanker Jack here. Came home to a nice little present in the mail. Decided to uh, treat myself to a new set of irons. And couldn't really decide what I wanted, but I know I was definitely on a budget. So what I did is I actually went with uh, Tacoma ones here. Very popular on the internet, seem to have good reviews, and they were priced just right. They just arrived in the mail today, so I'm going to unbox them here and see how we do, get some initial first impressions, and kind of compare them to the ones I have now. Just for record, the ones I'm using right now are these Titleist APS2 716s with kind of regular shafts and grips. These were given to me by my best mate Charles. Uh, that's what I've been using for the last six or seven months, but I definitely think that it was time for me to uh, have my own set, set of hand-me-downs. <coughs> Sorry, fighting a bit of a cough. Let's open these up. Oh, look at this. Very nicely packaged. Everything seems to be okay. Got a hat. Excellent. Oh, a golf towel. That's very nice. Oh, and here they are. So it's a full set. And I also got a couple of wedges with it as well. They were also priced rather reasonably. So this looks like one of the wedges. I have just So I went with a 60 degree wedge and a 52 degree wedge. The uh, wedge that I have at the moment is I have a 54 degree, a uh, Callaway, which works like a charm. So I may just keep that in the bag. But this is the 52. Put some cellophane here around the... Uh, the handle, KBS wedge shafts. I went with the KBS Tor light. And one of the decision make things I had with getting this set is, I understand the, the regular 101s are really for the high handicap beginner players, that's definitely me. But I thought the 101 tees for roughly the same price would work just as well. These grips feel very nice. Again, it's actually the first time I've ever bought new clubs. Um, so, well, there's a bit of, oh, there's, there's plastic on this too. Oh, wow, these are very well, these are very well maintained, very well wrapped up. So it's just some shrink wrap to take off. So this way I've got, it's a full set, four to, four to pitching wedge with two wedge, two, uh, pitching, two other wedges thrown in there. Let's see if I can do this real quick. Oh, I wish I had fingernails. There we go. All right, there we are. That is very, how does this compare weight-wise? So it feels a touch lighter, but I think it's lighter in the shaft. The shaft feels a bit lighter. So, because I am a beginner, one of the issues I do have is my club head speed, so having a lighter shaft, I, I'm assuming, is going to help me out there. So we'll just put that one there. You can kind of look at that. Now let's just pick a club. Let's just pick this one. That's the pitching wedge. Just try to get. Now, oh, which one's this? Let's find out. Kind of like Christmas, isn't it? Anyway, 
So this is a four. So you do get the four through seven. And I've never, I think the longest iron I've ever hit was a five iron on a set I had, you know, 20 years ago, which I think I bought for $200 from some sporting goods store, big five, I think. And I just used those because, you know, I don't, I didn't know any better. I wasn't even playing. I was just playing casually with friends and roommates and people who, you know, just to get out the house and have a few beers. If I can get this off here. Come on. Anyway, very nice, huh? I'm kind of, I, I am a little intimidated by the size of the blade. So, and I know it's a four iron. So, so again, let's see if I can get something to compare clubs with. Which one's this? Five iron? Okay, here's an eight iron. So I'll just do a quick side by side of my eight iron with this one. But I'm very excited. I'm, I'm very excited to have new clubs. I'd be interested to see if I, if I see any improvement. One of the issues I was having, you know, these, the clubs, you know, they were given to me by my friend Charles, who is essentially a, he's a pro. He's a pro. He's been playing his entire life. He's, you know, he's an absolute stick at this. So, you know, when he was nice enough, he was so generous to give me these clubs in the first place and they really have helped, but you know, they are set for a, a bit more of a, a professional, better lower, you know, obviously a, a, a lower handicap or a scratch golfer. And I'm definitely not that. So standard Lampkin grips, standard KBS Tor light shaft. This is a pain in the arse, huh? There you go. Oh, for God's sake. Well, it's a good thing it's a nice rainy day outside, otherwise I'd be, uh... Okay. <coughs> There's an 8 iron kind of like it. It does, you know, feel, definitely feels a lot better. And here's my eight iron just to compare it to. So, you know, similar offset, similar looking. This one's got a bit of a thicker base to it. You know, as far as the size of the head, it's about comparable to what I have now. So I, I think getting contact with the ball and getting good, um, good solid contact. I mean, standard length. I mean, it's probably I mean, it looks looks very similar, so. But it definitely feels the shaft feels a lot lighter, and it definitely feels a bit, bit heavier in the head. Just doing a couple of, I mean. Hopefully that this will help. So anyway, I'm gonna work on the rest of this. But there you have it, Tacomo. 101T irons. We will see if this makes any difference, but I'm very excited to get these out. These just look so good. They look so good. So I will finish unboxing these and we'll go from there. Anyway, thanks for watching.
I'll go to the range, I think, probably Thursday morning, and we will continue. Thanks very much. Hope you enjoy.